So hi, microbe hunters all over here. And this is a small portable microscope uh, and I'm gonna take it along traveling. I've uh, spent now the last week uh, in Croatia, which is in Europe um, on the Adriatic Sea. And I did a little bit of uh, marine biology and I've uh, taken this microscope along and placed some interesting samples and specimens on this microscope every day. Okay, um, I've packed up my things and the microscope I placed into a separate bag. Here this is a small camera with an adapter. I also took along a small box uh, with some cover glasses, slides. Oops, I dropped it. Uh, scissors, tweezers um, and uh, also a small dish. And here is the microscope. Uh, almost forgot about these. These are some specimen containers. I'll take a few, along a few of those as well. So everything's packed now. Let's check for last time whether the microscope is still okay. Well, here it is. Okay, it's switched off. So I think we're ready to go. Well, it's uh, been a pretty long ride in the car. I spent uh, approximately 10 hours driving, but finally I've arrived uh, at the destination. I'm now in Croatia, in Istria, which is the northern part of Croatia. I'll be spending a week here um, and uh, because I took along my microscope of course I'll be looking for specimen samples. It's raining unfortunately uh, but I'll still go down to the beach now to look for a few things uh, that I might be able to put under the microscope so um, yeah I'll see. Well so this is uh, the Adriatic Sea Istria, it's the upper part of Croatia. It's a very popular region to spend your holidays and unfortunately the weather is not really up to my expectations. On the beach there is a lot of uh, porous rock uh, material. Um, this seems to be of volcanic origins because uh, all of those little holes here, the pores, uh, is because of the degassing uh, that happens uh, when there's a drop of pressure after the um, lava was erupted. Um, and I guess it must be volcanic of volcanic origin. I don't know where however it comes from. Um, if you turn this one around you can see uh, seems to be a little snail here and there seems to be some uh, slimy greenish uh, stuff on the rock um, this could be algae growth uh, maybe that could be something that I can observe but uh, again lots of uh, volcanic material here and the beach is nothing like I've seen so far it has gravel and not sand uh, so I'll see if I'm able to find uh, some organisms, some algae or so that I can put uh, under the microscope. There is some seaweed here. Um, I don't know whether it's not going to be a little bit too thick to be directly observed. I'll see what I can do. Well, I have a difficult time believing that those rocks here are of natural origin. I mean they're simply too heavy to be washed on shore. I don't know, maybe uh, it's simply artificially maintained. The beach here. In any case I'd like to take uh, some of those uh, porous rocks along and I'd like to look at it uh, under my low power objective but I think uh, I won't be able to see a lot of interesting things but I'll try it in any case. Well the waves are not very high today, the water is extremely clear and uh, you can see the floor of the ocean quite well. Well, we did not rent any of these boats here, we just went uh, swimming in the ocean normally. And that's a close-up of the two rocks that I took along uh, to be placed under the microscope. Uh, the pores are quite large. And uh, here I'm now unpacking everything and setting everything up. It's uh, on the balcony of the mobile home. The table was a little bit shaky, I have to say, uh, but it worked otherwise reasonably well. And uh, of course I placed the rock directly under the microscope without any slide of course. Uh, and this is what I saw. Um, the depth of a field of course was not very high. So I had to focus back and forth and the individual pores now are extremely large. Um, you can also see that uh, there is a little bit of dust and dirt uh, adhering on the rock. There, everything is now quite out of focus so I'm looking for another good place. 
and I'm simply now refocusing everything again and uh, what I've done is I've used a second mobile phone and uh, this second mobile phone had a flashlight, a lamp and I'm simply using that to illuminate the specimen. So also see that the rock is a little bit discolored. I don't know what the white things are, maybe some salt uh, that has formed and this is now a stacked image so back at home I stacked the image and then I had everything in focus here I'm moving now the lamp a little bit so you can see that the shadows are cast differently and yet again I'm focusing back and forth and again a little bit you can see that there are occasionally some dust and some dirt like this one for example a blue string on the left side and it adheres and sticks uh, to the rock and now it's in focus again and yet at another place I think it's uh, quite interesting to see how everyday objects look so different under the microscope and now I'm moving again the flashlight the lamp of the mobile phone and you can see that the shadows are also moving it gives it a little bit of feeling of depth and texture yeah and again I have stacked the images back at home and now everything is in focus As I said, the water was very clear, um, but uh, when the waves are high, then of course it looks more turbid. I found this here at the beginning, I thought it was the beak of a seagull, I have to admit. It turned out to be a pen shell. It's a salt water clam, but I did not uh, know what it is uh, right at the beginning. I was a little bit afraid of touching it because I didn't know whether it was poisonous or not. Yeah, and there is another one over here uh, that I found. Uh several meters uh, from the shore. I have no idea what it is. You can see some ants crawling across it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what I heard is that uh, this, these uh, shells are actually protected and uh, you're not allowed to take them along if you find them. Well, luckily I was able to find out uh, that uh, this strange thing that I found on the shore is a so-called a pen shell. And as a matter of fact, it has some economic value even because you can use uh, part of the shell even to make jewelry and for to make uh, other decorations. And as a matter of fact, it's even a protected organism. So you're not allowed to take uh, these along. The mobile homes are all shaded by pine trees. And uh, so it should not be any surprise that there are many pine needles um, on the ground. Yeah, I'm simply picking up a few of them right now and I decided to also take one of them and uh, put it under the microscope. Um, they're quite also interesting to look at in the sense that they have a nice surface texture. I simply also just like the rock I placed the pine needle directly under the microscope and I used epi illumination and my low power objective to directly look at it. I'm just using my four times magnifying objective and here you can actually see on the screen of the camera how it looks like and then all it is I pressed the record button and I had a look. Well, and instead of simply telling you things that you already know, um, I'd like to simply use the time now to invite you over to my microscopy shop. Um, I've included a link below this video and in this shop you can buy all sorts of microscopy related uh, accessories um, and tools and also books and the like. Um, I'd like to also invite you over to my second YouTube channel. I also included the link below. And in the second YouTube channel, I'm going to give mostly advice on microscopy related topics. Um, and I'll also be doing a whole bunch of reviews there and so on. And uh, last but not least, I'd like to ask you, please uh, subscribe to this channel so that uh, you are always updated uh, to new videos that I upload. So, well, I think for today, that's enough. Uh, I put a little pine needle that I found on the floor and uh, some rock from the beach, uh, maybe of volcanic origin, I don't really know. Um, under the microscope, um, I'm already curious of what I can find tomorrow. In any case, for the day, that's enough. I wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting and bye-bye.